the richest hundred people in the world have as much money as the bottom two and a half billion. And you think, well, that's a terrible thing, and perhaps it is, but what you have to understand is that that law governs the distribution of creative production across all creative domains, right? It's something like a natural law, and we can, we'll talk about that more, but imagine what happens when you play Monopoly. You've all played Monopoly. What happens when you play Monopoly? One person ends up with all the money, all right? Then you play another game of Monopoly. What happens? One person ends up with all the money. It's actually the inevitable consequence of multiple multiple trades that are conducted randomly. If you take a thousand people and you get them to play a trading game, you, get, you each give them a hundred dollars, say, or ten dollars, and they have to trade with another person by flipping a coin. I, I win the coin toss, you give me a dollar, you win, I give you a dollar. If we all play that long enough, one person will end up with all the money and everyone else will end up with zero. So it's a deeply built feature of systems of creative production and no one really knows what to do about it.